Honolulu police still looking for the person who shot and injured a teenager on a city bus in Kalihi. The suspect was one of two people on a moped and both are suspects in this attempted murder case. Two men opened fire on this bus on Cam 4 Road last Friday afternoon. The sources close to the investigation say a passenger on the moped got off and went up to the bus that was stopped and shot through the back door that was open. The bullet hit a 16 year old boy, then hit the window. The alleged gunman and another person took off on a moped. If you have any information on this shooting, you're asked to call police. Now, this shooting, it has the community shocked, but not surprised. Uh, residents who live nearby say that the shooting is just one in a string of crimes. Plus, a lawmaker identifies the victim. Our Kristen Contilio has our top story at six. We now know the victim, Arvison Victor, was riding the bus home to Camp 4 Housing. That's when sources say a passenger on a moped got off, went up to the bus, and shot him through the back door. The bullet hit Arvison in the upper body, then hit the window. It missed major organs, and greatly it didn't kill him or paralyze him. And uh, everybody in the community and his family are grateful to God that he's recovering. Representative Sonny Ganadin managed an after-school mentorship program where he met Arvison. He says Arvison is a good kid who loves playing sports. He is a resident of Camp 4 Housing. He's a good kid and uh, he didn't deserve what happened to him. These types of crimes are nothing new in Kalihi. The cop is always around here. They, they do what they can, but you know, when the cops uh, go, go home, they, they come out and play. Ganadin says kids in Kalihi need mentorship and to be part of programs that keep them out of danger and away from crime. The kids of Kalihi, they're not all bad. Um, and that unfortunately, uh, the prevalence of guns and their overuse in our community is um, rearing its ugly face in Kalihi. I think that uh, we can do more to support the organizations and the people that are working with young people in the streets uh, to improve their lives. Kristen Concilio, Island News.